Hello everybody and welcome to the continuing adventures of Ragtag. Now, as you may see, I have built up my outer wall now to have a mud-based inner walkway. This, of course, is going to add an awful lot more protection. Well, it's going to add immunity, really. Um, unless things can fly, because they can't break through terrain, this now is an impenetrable wall. But, I don't like it. And <laughs> Why don't I like it? Um, it's because I've built it against the grain. Now, I don't know if you can tell, um, but... Every location is a square. This is quite an easy one to, to look at. So as you can see, this location here is a square. And I am building a cross, like as if it's a diamond edge rather than a square edge. Yeah. Which means like, I have lots of these little holes that I'm not going to be able to fill. And all along the edge here, you can see there's like all these little spiky edges. So I have decided to relocate and make a new base. Now, it's not just because I can't get a pretty edge. It's also because of the issue of, because I have a base on the coast, whenever I get attacked, monsters will swim around through the sea and come in through the dock. So it doesn't matter how good a wall I have, they're still just going to swim around to the dock. So my thinking is, if I have a base elsewhere, with my sleeping bag, etc., and leave this for a dock when I have my ship, link the two locations with a portal, and when I get attacked, I'm going to get attacked at my base where my sleeping bag is, which will have a much better design and defense and if I need to go for a sail somewhere I can portal to this base jump on a ship and go somewhere so this was always going to be a temporary measure anyway something just thrown together to have a look to see if we can do it and I will leave most of this standing as a like a Dockland warehouse but I will be relocating just about anything of value to my new base, which I will show you in a moment. Now, it's not quite so easy for me to show you in the rain and the mist, but I will do my best. So this is my new base. It's on top of a mountain. Well, when I say a mountain, a hill. And it is built where the earth can now be placed perfectly smooth. I mean, yes, some of these edges down here could be chiseled down. And in time, I will do that. For now, we can run along. Now, to get into my base, sadly at the moment, it is not pretty. Uh, this will be a smooth ramp at some point. But for now, I have to climb up. Walk along what will be a drawbridge. And when I mean a drawbridge, I mean something that I can just go under attack, just delete a square. <laughs> now, as you can see, I have built a earthen rampart all the way around. When I get so far as to unlock stone, which at the moment I am not, I have not got iron yet. I'm only just working through some bronze. Um, this will be stone capped all the way around to make it look nice. And then on the inside of this, building up higher than this wall itself, will be a stone castle. With the back of the stone castle being a raised earthen area, whereby I will have all of my plant crops. So that is the design. I'm not going to do a moat. There's no need to do a moat. 
things should not be able to get through here. Clearly, flying things will be able to attack. But I will have to put some kind of nice protection for myself so I can shoot out at the flying things without my, myself and everything else in my base getting destroyed. So this is the start of my new base. I have a long way to go, as you can imagine. Um, the area I'm standing in right now will become what I suppose many people would classify as the, the crypt or the dungeons underneath the castle. So this area I'm standing in will end up having rooms, but almost jail-like rooms, because the main castle will start almost in line with the, the edging of these walls and go upwards. Now, as you can imagine, I have a lot of work to do to get this anywhere near looking like a base and to relocate my old base to this location. So I will crack at it and update you as soon as we have something to see. Okay, one of the things that you might be looking at now and thinking, Oh my god, that's an awful lot of stone. That's going to take ages to raise a wall that high. Well, not at all, actually. Let me just quickly show you. Um, all this back end here, I will be raising up to the same height. Because this will be the gardens of the castle. So, let's just quickly switch to raise ground. I have stone on me. All you have to do, doesn't matter where you're standing, is aim at the top of the current wall and just click. If you get close enough, and just click. There you go. As simple as that. Yeah. So it doesn't take long to build up the height you want. Within a few clicks, I've already brought that much of the wall out. Come on. Yeah, this is not taking long at all to raise the wall. Let's so have a quick look up above. Maybe do a quick little bit of flattening. I mean, this whole wall needs to be evened out and flattened now that's that's a more difficult job because adding height to some of these wall pieces is not so easy lowering them is not so bad but raising them is tough like this corner here because this comes already so high from the ground i can't seem to raise this any higher so there does seem to be some limitations I will end up raising it higher with stone pieces, stone blocks, and capping it off. But for now, it's kind of like that. So I just quickly make this piece that I've just added to be kind of universally flat here. Yeah, it's looking, looking nice. I mean, ideally, I need to go through and do the whole of this wall. If something won't come down, I'll actually have to dig down into it and then try and get the height right and flatten it back off again. I say it's not, not that easy to get these walls at the height you want. Let's see now where this goes. Will it let me go all the way along or will it just stop? <laughs> There's a piece there that won't go down. Place after it will go down, but that piece won't go down.
So if you have a piece that doesn't go down, you're going to have to destroy it. Let's go back over the other side. Switch back to leveling. So it's going to be tough to actually get it level. But I said I will actually wait till I get stone. And then I'm going to cap the whole top of this off nicely with stone. Look at that back corner there. It looks like it needs to be brought up. Or oh, this whole top corner here needs to be taken down, one or the other. We'll get there. So that is how to do a quick and easy earthen wall so this will end up being the garden i'll i'll not wait for stone to raise this whole back end i'm going to raise this whole back end up ah, now in a minute and get it ready so let me do that and we'll see what it looks like okay and there you go that's the the back end raised up. I mean, it doesn't take long. Don't get me wrong, it does take a ton of stone. <laughs> so be prepared to go and farm a lot of stone. But to raise it up doesn't take long at all. Now, this whole oh, the corner, this whole back edge is going to be capped with stone. So that's going to be raised up above this level. Because that's going to be the outer walkway and battlement. Now, you have to think about how much room is that really going to take. And think about, okay, well, my garden then is actually only going to start, I mean, you know, say a meter or so in from the edge. So is this going to be enough of a garden? Now I'll, I'll have a pathway on this inside at the edge of the castle. So for for my needs, for one person, for now, I am thinking this is enough of a garden. But we'll see. I mean, I could always, as I'm building the castle itself, think about maybe going another row in again, if I want the extra garden space. As I said, for one person for now, I think that is going to be enough. Fantastic. Let me go and plant some crops. Okay, I think that gives a better kind of view. <laughs> a better kind of view of the garden size. Now that I've cultivated the land and planted some seeds. Yeah, I'm thinking that's uh, it's going to be enough for my needs. Now, I've also made myself a little work area. Because I have these outer walls, I don't have to worry about inner walls. There's no need to box myself in to protect myself from attacks. So I have some fires with the smoke going out through a vent in the top. I have rows of storage. <coughs> Excuse me. My various kilns, etc. Iron stores above my forge. Wood and arrow making stores above my workbench. Yeah, just, you know, and a bed. I don't need anything fancy right now. So this will do just fine until I am ready to yeah, build this inner area and make this inner area stone with rooms and the castle above. It's just going to be a massive project. I could start to with um, collecting a lot of stone now and just start piling up the stone. So there you go. I'm hoping you enjoyed a look at my new base and using 
earth as a wall to keep yourself protected. It's going to be very interesting to see how this one develops. And if you're interested too, please subscribe, like, etc. And then you will not miss any more videos I post as I start building my castle. Fantastic. Okay, thank you very much and goodbye from the Baron. Bye now.